let's just have a look at what it looks like without the mask and um, yep got some nice gradation here I might sort of just soften these edges out here just so that we don't have to sort of I, I don't want to soften this completely because I like the this difference here it sort of looks bruised or um, uh, otherwise sort of um, like a discoloration so I'm just going to leave that and just sort of blend in these edges here so yeah, that, that's um, that's looking pretty good. Almost sort of has a has a sort of an infected look to it. Uh, you may notice that we've got some of these veins here uh, just sculpted into this surface, and um, uh, they look good sort of um, when reflecting the light. But there's no real colouring there. So what we might do is if we go to mask by cavity and we will reverse the mask but we won't soften it, we'll leave it as is for now and I might go in there with a nice sort of uh, brighter red uh, just sort of a little desaturated and if I bring my draw size down and go over a few of these this here actually I might have to bring my um, intensity up a bit so I'll just go back to that point. I'll bring my intensity up to, I'll say 30. Now if I just sort of add a little bit of color in these areas, in this area here. Now if we take off our mask, we can see that these are actually coming in sort of more as uh, sort of veins. I'll just sort of blur just a little bit in the areas that I don't want. That's a little too blurry. That would be because the um, the blur amount is still set to 100. If we go to smooth. For those keeping track at home, blur and smooth just assume that they're interchangeable. because it's like smoothing out the color values. And so yeah, we just have that sort of suggestion there of it having a uh, the sort of veiny uh, texture to it. Now, um, supposing we want much more pronounced veins coming through. Well, there's a way to do that. Um, I'll just go back to my standard brush. Uh, now we'll use a technique that we sort of um, looked at before, which is that we will um, use an alpha and drag out a mask with the alpha. So what I'll do is, let's start up here and make sure that my RGB intensity is set to 100. I'll just sort of drag out and unfortunately I forgot to hold the masking key. Just drag out a mask like this. Drag it out from here, drag out another sort of bit here and you can rotate the uh, the mask around until you get sort of a nice um, a nice sort of uh, shape to it. And with that mask dragged out, just um, control click off the object to reverse. We've still got our sort of our blood texture there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back on Z add, but turn it down to something like seven. Go with lucky seven. And now I um, might bring the brightness down a little bit and with that selected we can just go over our mask here um, and anyone paying attention will know what I did wrong there. Okay now if I just go over this 
color like that and bring the intensity down but not too far because we still want that redness to sort of come through but if we um, if we just trace the um, areas that we want the veins to sort of come in and this is a good vein right here so we have color and um, and actual sculpting uh, coming in together so if we get rid of that mask you can see that we have these nice sort of raised veins um, coming into into our eye here feeding this this organ this sort of uh, what's going to be a light emitting organ and just to sort of um, I might just do the the same again to this section here just because this is looking a little bit sort of um, unimpressive so I'll go back to drag rectangle bring this up and might try and line it up a bit with um, so it looks yeah that'll do and now reverse Actually, before I do that, um, now while the mask is reversed, I can hold Control and Alt so that I will subtract from the mask and just sort of drag out more there. Now I will go back to my dots, just sort of just bring in a little bit more texture there, just to sort of cover those um, fairly ordinary bits in our in our mesh so there we go and now I'll just go over these just mm, the smooth is still turned up a little a little high so ah it's because of this I'll actually take this down as well. So now if we go over this, yeah, that's it. And so we just sort of just make these veins just a little bit more subtle, a little bit more rounded so that it looks like they are actually sort of um, under the skin or, or sort of embedded in a membrane rather than rather than laid down on top. And there we go, we have this uh, this nice sort of color of a vein coming through and also if we um, turn our light around the object we'll see that that, um, that is actually a raised portion if we um, just sort of look at the object from a distance you can see that it actually looks quite um, uh, quite disturbing disturbing is good we want disturbing. Now what I might do, because I'm so impressed with the success of this, I might actually apply this to this section here, just to try and cover up the corn. And so, focusing on this area. Uh, we might run out of time, so don't panic if it sort of suddenly cuts off mid-sentence. I'll continue in the next next video. So um, we will apply our mask. The reason that didn't work is because we didn't have our intensity there. So we've got a mask there. And yep, we're running out of time, so I'll finish this up in the next lesson.